All right, going on to another comic book. Hit the like, slap the subscribe button, comic fam. We're talking comic books that we'd be reading, and uh, Bruce Wayne is dead. Yeah. Batman's dead, kind of. Not really, but we have a new Batman. We have I Am Batman issue number one. And it feels like a long time coming. I feel like this character has been introduced more than once. Yes. And we've just begun his narrative, but we've been talking about Mr. Fox for quite some time. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I don't think this book has caught on uh, like it should, like it should have by now. There have been multiple starting points for this character in this world. And unfortunately, this current I Am Batman series is not really the best. Eh, it isn't, it isn't the best place to jump onto this character and this, and this storyline. So right out the gate, it's a little more confusing and not new reader friendly as it should be. Correct. You know, some, why don't we take it back a couple steps? Because how do you even get here? Because I don't think that this is the intention. I thought this was supposed to be our new Batman, like officially. And right. it doesn't seem like that's the direction that they're going. To really explain this book, you got to rewind and look at. Let's the, go back to 5G. The 5G. Let's plan. talk about that. Okay. That was a publishing, an entire, an entire DC project that they were working on behind the scenes over at DC to kind of like stop everything kind of new 52 style and restart at least the main characters in the DC universe, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, restart them with new people, not Bruce Wayne, not Diana, not Clark Kent, new characters as these heroes, completely fresh, new takes, a lot of people that weren't, they weren't digging it. They're like, ah, again, DC. But, you know, people at play were like, you know, let's do this. I believe even James Tynan mm -hmm. was mentioning about how during his run of writing that he was being told that what he does doesn't really matter because they're going to plan on redoing everything anyways. That was, that was what they told him, yeah, while he was, while he was writing his Batman run. Like, you know, do what you want, but we're going to, you know, none of this is really going to matter. So we had characters like uh, New Wonder Woman, Yara Flores. Yara Flor. Yeah, these, these characters were, were introduced, and then when 5G kind of fell apart, it's like they took these elements and kind of repurposed them for future state, which is kind of what 5G morphed into. Mm -hmm. It was last Feb it was like a year ago at this point, yeah, last February, when the whole, all DC Comics went on pause and told future state stories. They didn't and go that far into the future, did they? In retrospect, no. It was like, we saw a lot of the future state stuff happen in the main Batman story, like, Several months later. So it wasn't really, it wasn't like Batman Beyond Future State. Right. Like, it was very, very near future. So then, now we have a new Batman. And clearly, intentions were different because those who were at DC are no longer working there who are going to do this 5G decision. Sure. But they retained some of the characters, gave them their own narratives, and now we have a new Batman. Correct. And you can kind of see, like, there is a new Superman. Right, Jonathan Kent is mm -hmm. now Super Superman, which is a really good comic. We should talk about it's that fantastic. soon. Yeah, we should do that one too. Uh, Yara Floor was Wonder Girl for a while. That series just got canceled this last month, actually, with seven issues. I'm hoping she sticks around because she was a really cool character. But then we also have Jace Fox as the next Batman, which is right. one of the one of the Future State books. Yeah, Lucius Fox's son. Correct, his younger son. And there have been several. Like you have the next Batman, which is a four issue Future State series. And then after that, there was a four-issue series called Next Batman, Second Son. And then that led into I yes. Am Batman. So we've gotten like a handful of narratives about this character without him really going all in yet. Right. This is the first ongoing. Right. So it's like the, I don't want to say it's the best jumping on point because I do think to really fully understand this, you at least need to go back and read Next Batman, Second Son, if mm. not the future state stories. But it's overly complicated, which is one of the reasons I don't like superhero comics as there much. There you go. Yeah, they're, kind of, they're most definitely complicated up until this run, which is actually pretty simple. And I think that's part of why this is a really cool book. I really, I I really like this run because it strips down. It, he directly addresses a lot of the problems that Batman had when he was still in charge and how Batman wasted a lot of his time from Jace Fox's perspective. Batman, Bruce Wayne, wasted time fighting big villains and running around on the rooftops and ignoring the people on the street who were really suffering. Right. We have, uh, oh, who's writing this? This is written by John Ridley. Yeah, John Ridley, of course. They and always advertise him as Academy Award winning writer, John Ridley. So the thing with this one that I was a little uh, disappointed with was that we have um, Olivia 
Coppel. Is that how you yes. say his name? I always mess that name. He's up. done a variant for us, hasn't he? We, we, I, we, yeah, we did. We did a Spider Woman variant. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Coy Pell, he's French. Yeah, he's, he's French. French. Olivier Coy Pell. Coy Pell. I'm saying that probably so, wrong, but whatever. So he's this cool. issue one, I was so hyped right. because Comic Fam, look at this Batman. He's sleek. He he just he draws Batman so down. He draws well. the city really well too. I, I the lighting, yeah. everything. Oof. Look at this. Oof. It's it's a gorgeous comic. Got to zoom in a little bit on. But here's that. the thing, man. The, every other issue is a different artist, and I am not a fan of that. And that's the problem with this book. This run so far, it started with I Am Batman issue zero, which is relatively soon after Future State. Which, by the way, has some of the worst art in it of all the issues. Number zero, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. That's not my favorite. It looked undone. It looked like it wasn't finished. Right. A little undercooked. Yep. And then it goes into Olivia Coipiel doing issue one here. And you look at this Batman. It's a great design. Hot damn. That's what I'm talking about. That he's got a um, he's got a face mask covering the the mouth of his of his visor, so it serves a dual purpose. So you can't really tell this is a different Batman under here because he is a different skin color, but also this is after a poison gas attack on Arkham Asylum that killed all the inmates, most of the doctors. So people in the city are kind of all wearing masks, which is a interesting commentary on the real world. Correct. Actually, I have a really fun um, yeah. shot. I believe this was an issue too, where he's taken out a person who's just got done committing some crime and he's realizing the, the 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 person who just committed the crime is realizing that he's dealing with a different batman because people think bruce wayne is dead yeah he's like so who, who the heck is this you know it's like it can't be you and sure enough he he removes that cowl to show he's like yeah i am a different batman do i look like the batman that's <laughs> so cool dude it's badass yeah it's, yeah it's scary he's got a he's got a much rougher kind of fighting style and he He's more he, savage, dude. He's got these like batons that are in his gloves that we I don't think we touched on yet. Right there. Yeah, they shoot out of his out of, out of his gauntlets, and he just box people with them in the head all the time. And it's like it looks a lot more painful than than oh, yeah. uh, what we're used to with Batman. Well, he beats people down, and there's a couple differences that I wanted to point out um, that this Batman did in the first few issues that made me really enjoy this, which is why I'm going to keep on reading it. The first thing is that. He addresses the tech, the use of technology as something that's going to put him in danger because Batman has all this tech, all this money, you know, he can make whatever he wants. Right. But in, with the concern that he'll be tracked with that tech, he fills his utility belt up, not with like gadgets or things like that, or trackers. He has like burner phones. That's it. Yeah. He doesn't want to have anything that could be tracked by the government. You know, he's like, he's really, he's very smart, but also it puts him at a disadvantage where he doesn't have all the all the abil- all the abilities and all the technology that Batman typically no, relies no on. No grappling gun or batarangs or anything like that. He's just got martial arts skills and these awesome batons that he smacks people around with. And he actually addresses the uh, the Gatling gun. He he specifically gets one and is like, "What am I going to do with this?" And instead of using it to swing around, he actually uses it to like hit someone with it. He just shoots it at someone because it's like he doesn't know how to use this thing. So I like seeing. The differences between him and the and Bruce Wayne Batman, but also at the end of one of these issues where he takes out a handful of villains, he sticks around to talk to the police. Right. And the first thing the police say is like, this is weird. Why are you here? And he's like, what do you mean? Why am I here? <laughs> he's like, because Batman just like he dips in and he dips out. Right? He takes out the guys and he's not here to talk to us. Like what's going on? He's like, I oh, know I'm here to build a relationship with you guys. Yeah. I'm here for you. We're on the same side. So it's cool to see him really giving his all to make things right with the community. He's like, I'm here for you, the people. And then he leaves. And then he <laughs> leaves. <laughs> at the end of issue five, he makes the decision to leave Gotham City for New York. Oh, uh, and, and that's right there. It's like, you know, did we just... The, question for you. Right. I didn't dislike the Fear State tie-in because mm-hmm. this comic happened at a time where issues like, what, two? Right. Boom, fear state now. You're in a tie-in comic Right, when book. you're getting used to everything, yeah, there's a there's a tie-in issue. I liked it. I, actually, I didn't mind it, but I feel like this was supposed to be like a year one type of comic book. Right, and it's 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 a very loose fear state tie-in that kind of involves a siege on a police station where his mom is a lawyer talking to somebody in the police station who they're trying, who this gang is trying to like attack the station and get this guy out of there. So his mom is in danger. So there's a little bit of personal drama. It's not unnecessary tie into to fear state by any means, but I think it worked. I really, I really enjoyed that story, but I am excited to see where they go starting in issue six. Now that he is off on his own turf, doing his own thing. It's my favorite thing. The fact that he is leaving to go to another city, he's going to start his own journey as Batman. I feel like we're now 
It's it's like oh, because he specifically d- said like what as long as I'm in Gotham, I'm the other Batman. Yeah, I'm, I'm a secondary. So he's got to go with, be his own Batman. Right. It's 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 an interesting uh, launching point, I think. But you just said it though. How many launching points does this Batman need? This is going to be number four at this point. Yeah, even though it's issue <laughs> six of the current ongoing run, it's it feels like a it's, new number one. Already. I feel like we're yeah, they could restart it again, and they go. It makes sense that they're restarting it, but damn. It's almost like this whole 5G thing is complicated and they should have canceled it, you know? <laughs> they should have canceled it a while ago. Comic fam, we're talking about comic books. Hit the like, slap the subscribe. Starting the auction off at $1 for one minute like we always do. This is one of our favorite covers and you got it. A little bit of that what y'all been looking for, right? A little bit of that for what y'all been looking for, right?